Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Spartan XV with the tabletop knife review. This is my first review of a knife. And this is the Gonzo G739 II, as um, GearBest.com calls it. Because currently this knife is only available at GearBest.com, which I will link in the description. Overall, it's a very good knife. The quality is significantly good for the price. Uh, which price is my first talking point. You can get this knife anywhere between $15 and $20. Which is just a, it's a really, really good price for what you get. As far as like steel goes and you know, overall build quality, feel, lock up, all that stuff. It's it's going to be hard to beat this for sub $20. Um, build quality, <clears throat> the, ba the blade lockup is very, very solid. Um, there's hardly any play inside the blade from the factory. Um, the clip is very strong, so in my opinion that's better. I'd rather ha have it too strong than not strong enough. So that way it stays inside your pocket. And if it is too strong, bend it out a little bit or use it and eventually it's gonna it's gonna get down to where you want it. Centering on the blade is okay. It's not the best I've ever seen in my entire life. But it I mean it gets the job done. It doesn't rub so you don't get any scratches or marring on the side of the blade from the from this the, the side walls. So I mean that's a plus. And for twenty dollars, I mean you can't really expect perfect centering. The this model and pretty much mo most of the Gonzo models come with. The, their, their version of uh, Benchmade's Axis Lock, which in my opinion is actually pretty good. It's, it's a pretty close comparison. Um, from what I've heard, there's a lot of them that are stiff. The detent, or the, um, the actual lock is super stiff um, when it, like from the factory on some of them, not all of them. Um, and with that, you have the option of either using it and wearing it down a little bit or um, if you take these scales off by unscrewing the three screws there is a little spring that's just bent in a u-shape right here you can bend that in a little bit not too much just a little bit and that that does help with the weight on the axis lock but overall the blades pretty smooth And to be honest, this is the probably one of the best knives I've ever had, considering the twenty dollar price point or sub twenty dollar price point. This one I got for um, about thirteen dollars shipped. Um, the one bad thing about it is, um, Gonzo is made in China, so you're gonna see four forty C, which is a Chinese steel. It's not bad by any means. It's definitely a high carbon steel, so you're gonna get you're gonna get the job done with it. And um, but the the one bad thing about it coming from China is the wait time. Since this is a very since Gonzo they make knives that look a lot like other knives, they cannot be sold inside of the United States. You have to ship them from China. Which, it's, that's like the one bad thing about the Gonzo brand, is that you have to get it from China. Which, for me, it took three weeks. Three weeks from purchase date in order to get it in. Which, is not that bad considering the, the deal that you get. And from GearBest, they have free shipping. Um, the original price was about $15 for this knife. It was on sale. And for signing up on GearBest.com... 
they gave me another like dollar fifty off for signing up with it for their newsletter. So mm, came out to about thirteen dollars, which to be honest is the best deal I've seen as far as you know good beater knives or like a good EDC knife. And I just use this at work, so it opens boxes perfectly fine and it'll do your normal everyday tasks. The bad, as far as the knife goes, um, three points, the axis lock, or the axis lock, it's difficult out of the box. And the centering on the blade could have been better. And the one other thing that I could think of, because there's really not much bad with this knife, um, is the, the liners, the steel liners on the inside, they are not skeletonized which if they would have done that one extra step they could have saved a significant amount of weight um, but even then this isn't a heavy knife at all I mean there's other knives that I like that are a lot heavier this one does go pretty good inside the pocket it feels good inside the pocket it's light enough to carry every day you won't notice it that much. It's not going to inconvenience you at all. Overall, I don't think there's a better knife in the the $20 price range. I'd be surprised if there was a better knife below $20. Bucks. Um, I, as far as I've seen, Kershaw's and things like that under $20, bucks, they are just not up to this par as far as materials and stuff goes. The the carbon fiber, I'm guessing, is just an overlay on top of G10, which is fine with me. I'm fine with G10. The carbon fiber look and feel on the outside feels great. You don't get much traction, but as far as looks, the smooth feel, I like it for, for light to medium use. So I want to end this video... Um, giving a big thanks to the Birdshot 4 channel. They highly recommended this knife and they, they kind of have a mini Gonzo collection going on inside their collection. And they speak very highly of these knives. So decided might as well give it a first try, see how it is. And after owning this one, I definitely will be buying more Gonzo knives. As long as you're fine with um, having a kind of knockoff knife, it's not a replica because, of course, they brand it with their name, Gonzo. So it's not really a replica or a, like a straight stolen design. It's just their take on, you know, a popular knife. Um, also, GearBest.com. Thanks to them for the decently fast shipping from China. And the packaging was really good price was amazing especially with uh, that little coupon when you uh, sign up for their newsletter can't beat that and that's pretty much it hope you guys liked the review if you have any questions let me know if you want to see any other knives any other anything else like that um, let me know I have a I do have a small gun collection as well so I'm gonna start posting videos on those Hopefully y'all will like those videos. So there's definitely more to come in the near future. Thanks guys.